Hi, welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's video, we will learn about how to design the invoice in an Excel sheet, how we will use images in the documents in Excel sheet and how we will use colorful boxes for showing different contents. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, quickly subscribe it first. In the earlier tutorial, we saw that how we design a table and how we bring a table and give name and price and how do we calculate the said price. If you have not seen my earlier tutorial class 7, then please go watch my earlier videos in my channel. You can go and check out my channel from clicking down below. So let's get into today's video. We have already made a table for pricing and numbering in Excel. Now at the top, we would like to give a logo for our company. We will also give our address. Then we will design our invoice ID. And if we need any other styling box, then we will place them in this Excel. So at first, let's get to the top. In the previous seven classes, we have discussed about the home option in Excel. Today, we are going to learn about the second option, which is insert option. If we click on insert, then we can see that many new options have come forward. So now, the first option present here will come in the advanced level course. And we have already learned the second option. That is how we will use the table, how we will color the table, how we will change the design of the table and how we will adjust the table. All of these we have learned in our previous class. Today, we are going to discuss about pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art, how we will use these options to design our table. So the first option here is picture. So let's say in our document, we want to add the logo of our company. For instance, let's say our client want to see the logo of our company in the invoice. We will learn how to add that logo or any picture that we want to add. It can happen that our document requires the product image with the product information. In Excel, we can do this very simply using these options ahead. At first, we will click on this option picture. After clicking on picture, we can see a dialog box opens to search the picture. So for searching the image, we will go where our logo and the company information is given in our computer. We will go to that folder and add our image. So let's go to Shikhan. We have taken our logo. Whenever we bring an image, that image will be placed on the document according to its size. Now we need to decrease the size of this image. So when we add the image, we can see at all angles there is a small dot to resize the image. As you can see it is on the left, on the middle and at the right as well. So now for making it smaller, we will go ahead and click on this box. Then while pressing shift on keyboard, we will drag it right here. While pressing shift when we drag, the image resizes from all sides at the same way. We will remember this shortcut to use in any graphics tool. That when I press shift and drag, then any graphics element resizes from all sides at the same way. Now when we bring any image here, we can see just like table tools, another option has come on top that is picture tool. Just like in case of table, for working and editing the table, all the options had come on this tab. Now when we added the picture, we can see all picture related editing could be done from this tab. Now we will learn about this tab and how to use it. But at first, let's place our logo where we want it. After placing our logo, let me repeat again. The boxes that we are seeing here in Excel while editing, these boxes don't come on print. So now that I have placed the logo, if we go to print preview, then we can see in the document, we don't have any boxes. Now one more thing that we can do, if we don't want to send the prints to the client and use it for the company itself, then this place for the logo is not good. So let's do one thing, select all these and do merge and center. Now if I place the logo here, then we can see after merging, the lines of the boxes have vanished. This looks way better. So like this, to show the company name here, we will do one thing. Let's merge this area, merge and center. Now we can see, all these boxes have merged into one. Now, if we want all of this together, we will simply merge all of it. Then this whole area becomes like a header. So now if we want to give a color, just as we saw in our last video, we simply add a color here so that our document becomes more visible. Now, if we click on the image and go to the picture tools, let's see the options here. The first big box that is present here, these are image effects. This means we can transform our image into different effects that we want. 
So now when we hover our mouse on the effects, we can see that the logo that is on the table is changing as it is in the effects. So let's select shadow. Now we can see that in our logo, there is a shadow falling downwards. Now this is all on your taste. If you like an effect, you can add it or you can just keep it as simple as it is. But if you really want to add any effect, then you can just use these options right here and give an effect. So now just for example, we will be keeping the shadow in the class. After that, let's come to the right side and see the next options. So the next option is picture shape. So we already had some shapes in the last option. But if we want any other shape than that, then we can use picture shape. So now let's select the triangle shape. Then we can see that our image has cropped into a triangle shape. Which means the shapes that are present in picture shape. If we want, we can change our images into these shapes. Just like that, we can see our image has changed here. So like that, the variety of shapes that are present here, if we want to design it in our way, then we can change it from picture shape right here. It can be our logo or any other design that we want. Now these shapes are just not for logos because this design right here does not look good with our logo. But if we want to make any corporate documents, then there will be an welcome page. In that page, you can use any of these shapes or the shape that is used here to present it in a better way. So we have to keep in mind that the designing that we do here are to make the presentation much more attractive. So keeping that in mind, we will use these shapes so that our table looks much more better. After that, we have an option picture border. So in the same way, we can give borders to our pictures. For example, if we choose this shape and give the color as green, we can see it looks like a leaf, which means that our logo is now looking like a leaf with the green color that we added on it. So let us make the shape normal and back to our logo again. Okay, so we gave a border and learn how to use our shapes. Now after giving the border, if we want to remove it, let's say we don't want any border on our logo, then we'll press no outline. When we press that, then we can see that the border in our image has been removed from the Excel. If we click on border again, we can see there are several more options down there. Let's give the border again. We can see a slim border here. Now if we want the border to be thicker, we can see a weight option here. In the weight option, we can see our border can be changed into different widths. Now with this option, we can make our borders either slim or thick as we want. After that, we have an option, dashes. Let's say we don't want any plain border. We want a dotted or dashed border. If we choose a design from here, we can see our picture looks better now. So now in respect of the design, whatever we want, we can choose it from here. The third option here is picture effect. So we had some default effects on the bigger box. Now, when we choose this option here, we can get more and more effects from where we can choose different kinds to organize our documents as we want and design them as we want in Excel. So these were effect related works that after getting an image, how can we design it with different effects? Let's go to the left now. In the left as well, we have some options. One of which is brightness. This helps us to increase or decrease the brightness of our image. If we increase it from here, then we can see that our image has become lighter or brighter now. This doesn't look good. After that, we have contrast. Then we have recolor. We can use these options as well. After that, we have change picture. Let's say we want to change the main picture, but not the formatting. Then with this option, I can select and change that. One thing to notice is that change picture does not change the formatting of the image that we did earlier. The effects and settings that we changed will be the same for this image as well. If we had added a new image, then these effects would not have been there. Here we can see the size effects and the borders are the same. That means that our new image has the same effects, size and borders. Let's change it back. We got our logo back. We can again see that our effects are the same and our image has changed. So in this way, we will do our image works. We can create image, give effects to that image, give shadows, give borders. And in this way, we can make an amazing document. Now let's get back to insert. In insert, we can see the second option, clip art. Clip art is a common option which we find in maximum softwares. If your computer has no image, then you can get some inbuilt images in the clip art option. So at first, these images will not show. You have to click go on the beginning. Then after clicking go, there may come a pop-up where you have to click OK. After that, all these images here does not have to be in your computer. 
You can use them in your documents as you want. Let's say your sale for this month was bad. You can add a sad clip art for that sale. You can use these images as a symbol for that. So like this, we also have categories for clip arts. You can search those categories and use any clip art that you want that may fit your document in your Excel. As these clip arts are also an image, we can see that the picture tools have come up on the toolbar up above. All the editings and settings that we could do with the pictures, we can do with these clip arts as well. So now the picture tools has some options in the right. Let me show you these options. When we bring two images close, we can see that the clip art has overlapped our Shikhon logo. Now here are some options like bring to front, bring to back, then we have align, group, like these. Now bring to front means the image that we have brought here, the order in which we want the pictures to be shown in our document, we can do that by using this option. We can see after selecting an image and clicking bring to front, then we can see on the document our image has come above. So like this, if we have two images together, we can use this tool to make it above or below. Let's delete the clip art. Now let's go to insert. The third option here is shape. Shape is like box design, which means if you want to design something like a box. For instance, we just saw how to make an image like a box or any other shape. But now we want just a box, a different box where we want to write the invoice ID. Or let's say we want an arrow an arrow to show in the document that this place is wrong. So let's select an arrow and let's show that this place has some errors in it. Just like this, we can show that this place has some errors in it. Now after that, if we click on shape, after clicking on shape, on the top, we can see an option named drawing tools. Just like the picture tools, drawing tools also have some settings. Now by using this, if we select red, we can see that our arrow has now turned to red color. So drawing tool and image tool, all these options are for designing your documents. So now let us again go to insert, then shape, we'll select a box and then we mark it. After this, we can see that our drawing tools has come up above. So for working with shapes, the tool name that we will be using is drawing tools. So after coming to drawing tools, just like image, many default effects can be seen here for the boxes. When you select one effect, gradient color, two color mixed in one color, in one word it is known as gradient color. So this color in this box is now gradient color. So different effects are present here, the one we want we can choose from here. Then we will work on our documents using that. So after shape tools, we would want to give our invoice number here or write bill here. Generally in invoices, on top as a heading, bill and invoice are written. So now for writing this, in the left top corner we can see an option named text box is there. We will click on it. Then click on this box here, then we write invoice. Now our text size is small. To make it bigger, we will go to home and use the options in home to increase our font size. And if we want to change the color, as we had already learned in our previous video, we will do the same steps and change the color of the text here. Once more, I will remind you to see the previous videos before watching this video for a better understanding. Now let's go to the drawing tool and let's design our invoice in the box down below. Now our document looks much better. So very simply using shape tools, we can make our documents very attractive. So in respect of these technical softwares, we have to keep in mind as we are learning software, we have to develop our minds like that, which means we have to set our minds with the icons. Now in images also, we had seen some options here. If we click image and go to picture tools, then we can see some options here. So if we click on shape tools as well, then we can see the same options here. So we have to develop our minds that all these works are same. Let's click on shape fill. Then we can see that if we select a single color from this option, our gradient will go. So if we want, we can give any color from this color palette. If we want, we can set a picture as well in the background. Now in gradient 2, we can choose the direction of the gradient in the box that we want, which means where the black color will appear. So by hovering the mouse, we can set the gradient as we want. After that, if we want to give a texture style in our box, we can also do that from this option. All these design methods depend on your choice. After this comes shape outline. Now when we have the green color inside the box, the red outline does not look so good. So let's make the outline 
as green. Now, our outline color is very light. Let's click on more outline colors. A color tool will appear where we can select a darker option. But the outline does not look so good. So what we can do is change the outline color, make it white or make it dotted or dashed. Similarly, the shape effect also works similarly to image effects. We can change our box to different shape effects. So like this, we can design our images and shapes in Excel. After that, we have text style. Till now, we're working on the box style. If you think that your text is a bit boring and want to design the text as well, very simply, you can choose any option from here and design that. So just as how we use the shape fill works, we can use these options to text fill as well. Okay. So, in today's video, we learned how we can set any image in our documents, how to use the shape tools. We have seen we have many shape tools here. Once more, I will say, for working with our designs, the shapes that we need, we can use that specific shape tool and work here. Let's go back to the insert tool. Then we have the fourth option here, smart art. Smart art is not a graph. It is just for the design. Graph is used for calculations and smart art is used for designs. Here we have different kinds of designs. Let's say we take a design, say we want to make a company's organogram or as we have done the sales invoice here, we can click and select a shape. Then we can see that same design has come up on our document. Let's say the company wants to know which sale has been good and which sale has been bad. We can just put in a shape like this right here or any other shape that we can select from the smart art option or any other design from the smart art option and edit the text in the smart art box as the company wants us to edit it. So we learn how to set a smart art, how to design with shape tools, how to set a clip art and use all these options together to design our document very beautifully. So friends, thank you for staying with Shikhan.com. Keep staying with us to get more informative tutorials like this. Thank you.